Bells, Batman Smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile broke both its wheels and the Joker got away. Welcome to the Movie Mort Holiday Horror Special. Mutish the Movie Goddess has returned to make all of your fondest dreams come true. All of them? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Show's over! This is the greatest Christmas present ever! Let's get going! In honor of the holidays, we're featuring the perennial classic Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Tonight's special guest is Charlotte's very own scream queen, Riley Morgan. And today's music spot, Hooray for Santa Claus by the Sloppy Seconds. Yeah, yeah, Santa Claus, Martians, who cares? Now what about that kiss? Why don't we sing more Christmas carols instead? Tonight's not only our season finale, but it is our first ever holiday special. How come we can't call it a Christmas special? We are playing a fracking Christmas movie after all. Well, we're trying to be sensitive to our spectrum of religious persuasions that comprise our viewing audience, Muty. What are you talking about? Our audience is comprised of freaks wearing ball gags, chained up in their mother's basements. Now how about that kiss? Okay. Well, pucker up and close your eyes and I'll give you a big Christmas surprise. Hey, your tongue's pretty rough for a chick. And why are you a dude? I thought that only worked with frogs and princes. Oh well, it's a mutitious movie more holiday horror special! Yay! I wonder, my little darling, Ten. where can Nine. you be? Eight. Seven. Again Six. tonight. Five. Four, Wild three, the two. Station KID TV brings you the special event of the year, a first in television history. At this very moment, KID TV has standing by a television crew at Santa Claus Workshop. And in just a few seconds, our special correspondent, Andy Henderson, will bring you a person to person interview with Santa Claus himself direct from the North Pole, where at the moment the temperature is 91 degrees below zero. And now KID TV takes you via Telstar, Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Hi, kids. This is Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Ooh, it's cold up here. <laughs> 
from this spot, there's only one direction you can go, and that's south. <laughs> Living up here is pretty rough. I don't see how Santa stands it. <laughs> Since we've been here, we've eaten nothing but frozen food. At least that's the way it is by the time we get it. <laughs> and now, let's take a look-see into Santa's workshop. Hello again. Boys and girls, it's just weeks before Christmas, and Santa and his helpers are working overtime to make sure that there's enough toys for the kids all over the world. Santa's a pretty busy man, but I'm sure he'd like to say a few words to you kids. Hello, Santa. Oh, hello, son. Oh, oh, hello, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, it's Andy. You caught me at a very busy time. Well, uh, do you think you'll be ready by Christmas Eve? Well, we've never disappointed the kids yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is it true that this year there's a rumor that you're going to use a rocket sled? No, sorry. We're going out the good old-fashioned way with my reindeer. Prancer and Dancer and Thunder and Blitzen and Vixen and Nixon. Uh, Nixon, oh, did I get, uh, oh, I always can't son it, I get those names mixed up, but the kids know their names. <laughs> Santa, there you are. We have so much to do, and you stand here dawdling, talking to this visitor. Mr. Anderson, this is Mrs. Claus. Uh, we're dear, we're on television. How do you do, Mr. Anderson? Ma'am? Now, I want you to go and finish painting those hobby horses. Television? Did you say we're on television? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, my hair's a mess. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, Mr. Anderson, and I'll show you some of the new toys we're turning on. We now return to the movie board. Here's your hot chocolate, Miss Mutisha. Oh, thank you, Mitzi the new PA. Now, Toodles, I have to get back to working on my proposal for next season's movie morgue. Well, I have to get on the bus and go around up the cast and crew for tonight's show. Bye now, and don't forget Juan. Juan? Which one? <laughs> That's very nice, dear, but didn't we already do this last episode? Yeah, but I thought that since I was reading for the part of Santa in the show, that um, maybe you had changed your mind about my script. Oh, no. Thank you. Please go now. The casting director, Mr. Magic, will give you a call back. If you get one. <laughs> if you get one! <laughs> Hey, get out of the way! I have to go to the bathroom! Ladies first, beauty. Be a gentleman. Um, <laughs> gentle monster. Ah, uh, but I'm a mutant, and I just finished drinking a case of moose head, and I have to pee like a racehorse! Mutantville <laughs> Martina! Who are you whistling at? Well, you say you had to go like a racehorse. Usually that helps. How about this? <laughs> Open that door! I have to pee before I die! <laughs> if you are so pathetic, I'll take it easy. Oh! Martina, what are you doing here? Muni and I were just on our way to the studio to introduce this week's show. Oh, I thought I'd stop by and uh, say hello in the spirit of the holiday. I even brought you a present. You did? Yes! It's right here in my bag. Surprise! Oh my goodness! No! Not a Michael Bay movie! Even worse. This is the TCM 2003 remake! <gasps> Feeling weak, but I'm spinning kids, Dad. Oh, that's why I should have 
See, I found out your weakness to remakes and Michael Bay movies. And I'm gonna use that to take back my spot as the host of the movie. It's not even TCM. It was four words when it was released in 1974. Texas Chainsaw Massacre TCSM. You Great. Can I go to the bathroom now? <laughs> Drapo? Drapo, you lazy good for nothing, where are you? Drapo. Drapo, wake up. Wake up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I'm sorry, Chief Key Marcer. Droppo, you were the laziest man on Mars. Why are you sleeping during working hours? I wasn't sleeping, Chief. It's just that I haven't been able to sleep these last few nights. I forgot how. So I was just practicing. <laughs> well, I suggest you practice doing your work. Where's Lady Moma? Oh, she went to the food pill center to get some new food pills. The children haven't been eating well. No appetite at all. Oh, it's no wonder. They sit in front of the video set all day watching those ridiculous Earth programs. It confuses them. Where are they? Oh, and they're watching Earth programs. Say, hey, Santa, what have we here? These are new dolls. Now, this little doll walks, talks, cries, and she even sings. Almost like a real, live little girl. That she is, sir. That she is. All she needs is tender, loving care. Grandma, what is a doll? I don't know, Grandma. What is tender, loving care? I don't know either. Grandma, Grandma. I told you not to watch those silly Earth programs. Now go to sleep. Must we go to sleep now, Father? I want to see Santa Claus some more. I want to see more toys. No, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>